All right, welcome again to another edition of Timoteo TV Preview 2011. Uh, we're breaking down the second half of the regular season on this one. Uh, make sure if you want to see a whole, uh, the whole schedule for the whole season, you can uh, hit the schedule tab at the top of the website. Uh, check it out uh, so you can start planning out what games you want to see. Uh, there's going to be some good ones. So, week five, let's see what we got. We're in our divisions, Justice and Peace. Uh, we got a 3.30 game. We got the Titans against the 49ers, the top versus the bottom from 2010. So, uh, Buddy, what do you have to say about that game? Well, I think this is going to be a good test for the 49ers uh, just to see where they're at. Uh, the Titans this year, I mean, they got a couple players that they say they're bringing. They're keeping everything quiet here. This is their roster right here that he turned <laughs> in today. As you can see, he's keeping everything top secret this year. So, I mean, we'll see what the Titans got. Uh, but uh, I'm... I'm going to have to go with the Titans, I guess. I mean, the 49ers, hopefully you guys get it together, but I don't think you're there yet. That would be a true test to see uh, how, how the seasons have changed. Um, okay, then we got a 6.30 game. we got Cardinals versus Raiders, both 4-4, four four, both making the playoffs. But as we said earlier, different story in the playoffs for both teams. Uh, Vic, what do you have to say about that game? It's going to be an awesome game. Uh, I believe they played each other last year. I don't know the score last year, but... Um, it's gonna be a real good game. Cardinals gonna come out strong this year. They always, you know, they always come out with even, you know, 500 record or a little below that. But I think they're gonna pull out this win. Uh, Raiders, I think everybody hyping them up a little bit too much because they defend the champions, and not just because I'm a little mad because they beat the Eagles. But I got the Cardinals in this one. All right, and then uh, five o'clock game in the Peace Division. What we're highlighting is Packers versus Redskins. Uh, they matched. They matched up uh, first week last season. It was a really great game going to overtime. Redskins pulled it out. Heck, what do you think will happen this year? Well, I know the Packers are hungry for this one. This was uh, their beginning. This was actually their first game last year was versus the Redskins. They ended up losing in overtime, and uh, I know uh, their quarterback situation was different, and they have a better quarterback now. So I got the Packers winning uh, this game, a close one. All right. Some sweet revenge for the Packers. All right, going uh, week six, we got, we're got we going back, mixing it up in between the divisions, highlighting three games for this week. First of all, 5 o'clock, we got Raiders versus Eagles. Uh, oh, and I got a new man with me, Kenneth, here from the Cardinals, filling in for this for this edition. So what do you have to say about the Raiders against the Eagles? Uh, Raiders-Eagles seems to be, seems to me it's going to be a great game. I, for one, last year was a... Uh, Big Raiders supporter in the playoffs after we was eliminated early. Sorry, Vic, but I hope to see them. You know, crush you one more time. You know, I think the Raiders are just going to pull it off in a close game. And this is by far the game of the week that week. This is a rematch of the Urban Bowl. So, uh, and that came down on the wire last year if you if you followed it all. So that's a huge game in Week Six. Um, another game that week, big game, Titans versus Packers. They were the number one and two seeds going to the playoff last year. Uh, Vic, what do you think is going to come out on top on that? That's going to be a good game. Um, I can't wait to see that game. Uh, I really don't know what the Titans, like Buddy said, I don't know what the Titans roster looks like right now. They lost a couple players last year, and I just, I'm hearing things, you know, from different people, rumors about how, you know, they're picking up players. Packers, I believe, still got same players from last year. They, I don't think they lost too many players, so they, they kind of stacked still about like 20, 25 kids. So um, I'm going to have to go with the Packers in this one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Titans coming back, of course, with the MVP of last year, coming into his final year. Uh, the Packers come back with a lot of returners too, so it should be a great game. Uh, next game on uh, week uh, six, we got Cardinals versus Saints. Buddy, what do you think about that game? Well, you got the, the Cardinals. Uh, I think last year they, they might have played a game with six players or something like that. But uh, talking to the coach this year, they got like 20 players. So they're coming revamped this year. Uh, on the Saints, they lose their quarterback from last year, even though they got their first win. Uh, so this is probably going to be another learning year for the Saints. Uh, th that quarterback spot's tough, and it, it's usually hard to fill it up with a rookie. So I'm going to have to go with Cornell and the Cardinals on this one. Probably give them a little, a little spanking, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Saints, they just got to pray it up and be prepared. Who knows what can happen. Uh, okay, let's go into week seven. Still mixing up in between divisions. Still seeing which division's stronger. Uh, 3.30 game, we got the Redskins versus the Cardinals. Kenneth, how do you think your Cardinals are going to fare in that game? Uh, just going off of what Buddy said, uh, the Cardinals this year, completely different team. Every year we've came out, we've stepped it up. Every single year, made our first playoff appearance and 
I feel as though we can just completely dominate the Redskins. All right. Uh, another game, one of the games of the week probably. Uh, we got Saints versus Steelers. One in seven teams. Uh, again, uh, hopefully it won't be uh, both teams looking for their first win, but who knows. Uh, hopefully they've improved. So week seven, what do you got there, Heck? Uh, I, feel, I feel like this game is going to be 0-0 zero, zero and go to overtime. Uh, I feel like it's going to be probably hard to, for both teams to score. Uh, but both the teams, sometimes they struggle bringing players to the field. And uh, I don't know, I, I feel like the Steelers are a better team right now and, and probably got them winning in this one. All right. And then another great game we got, Vikings versus Titans. Buddy, what do you have to say? You got you got two Giants going at it here. Uh, this this game right here, it, it it might be for the best record maybe in, in Timotel this year. Uh, you got the Vikings that are coming strong, and then you got the Titans who always find a way to be it right up top. Uh, but I mean, when you got the Peace and Justice Division, I mean, come on, the, the Peace Division is for real. All right, them them uh, um, sugar coated games the Titans got up there, they won't be ready for this. And I got I got the Vikings winning this one. All right. Buddy's sticking with his division. I see how it goes. Okay, right, week eight. Week eight, final regular season uh, games that week. Could, could be a lot on the line. Playoff spots, seeding, uh, everything. So, Justice, or separating divisions. We got Colts versus Titans. Kenneth, what do you have to say about that? Uh, not too familiar with the Colts team. You know, but uh, the Titans track record shows that they're a dominant team, but don't have many... Well, they lost a few players. Not really sure where they stand, but I'm going to still go with the Titans. Go with the Titans, yeah. Colts have really revamped this year. They're almost like a new team, but, uh, yeah, Titans are strong, that's for sure. Going into the Peace Division, we got Eagles versus Redskins. How are Eagles going to do, Dave? Um, rematch. Uh, I think we played each other twice last year. The Redskins uh, beat us in the regular season. Then we got revenge in the playoffs. It's going to be... It's going to be a good game. I'm, I guess I'm hearing from all my colleagues that the uh, Redskins are, you know, rebuilding and they're going to be a lot better this year. So, of course, I'm going to go with my team. I'm going to go with my team, I'm going to go with my team by at least, like, not too much, 30, 40. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Things are keeping him respectable. Uh, <laughs> all right. Game of the week, then. This could be a lot on the line as far as seeding goes, assuming both are making the playoffs. Uh, we got Vikings and Packers. Huge, huge game. I'm going to let Hector and Buddy say a word about this game. I'll start off. Uh, we are kind of hungry for the Packers. Uh, they, beat us, they beat us last year, I think, less than a touchdown, or so we're hungry. It was really a good game, and last year was probably the game of the week. And I feel like this, this one's going to be game of the week. And uh, my team is probably better. Uh, hopefully it's better. We lost our best quarterback. Uh, but we're trying to fill in that spot, and it's looking good so far. So I got us winning. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this game. The Vikings, look, they're a good team. All right, but the Packers, we're going to be a great team this year, all right? So the Vikings, I mean, you can be, it's okay to be second best, heck, all right? You can be the second best in the division. We want the one seed. We want to go into the playoffs on fire. Uh, so, I mean, whoever they put at quarterback, I'm not worried. My defense is locked down. We come ready to play. So, Vikings, bring it. <laughs> all so, right. you're going for the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Interpret it how you will. Um, so, so that's our second half of the season uh, preview. Uh, make sure you check back for our uh, breakdown and, and uh, predictions for division winners and Urban Bowl. So thanks for joining us again on another edition of Timote Timoteo TV. See you out on the field.